friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday! It is the first Friday of July, it is the 4th of July weekend. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are doing for the 4th of July. We are having just a couple of friends over for a barbecue and we're going to play some indoor board games because it's going to be well over 100 degrees through the weekend here where I live, which is insane. We never have temperatures this high. It's in, in fact, it's very rare that we even reach 100 degrees during the summer, not well over 100 degrees. So that is my plans for the 4th of July weekend. Because it's Friday, it's another weigh-in, workshop, topic, recap, and I'm going to share with you how my week went and we'll set some goals moving into the first week of July. Can you even believe it? If you're excited for another weigh-in video, give this one a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, of course, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. Head on over, join us there, we'd love to have you. So let's jump in to this Friday weigh-in, workshop topic, and weekly recap. hope you had an absolutely fantastic week. I had a great week. It was extremely busy and extremely hot, but I had a fantastic week overall. Thank goodness we have central air conditioning and it is running strong, which makes me incredibly happy. I cannot imagine not having air conditioning in this extreme heat. I feel terrible for people whose house temperature is in the high 80s. I was able to get in two jazzercise workouts this week. I ended up having to skip Saturday morning because the session I generally go to was canceled due to the heat and my husband had to spend the entire entire day finishing the mowing in our yard. So of course I have Palmer duty. I ate on track this week. I tracked everything. I finished out both of my June challenges strong. My protein challenge, I killed it. I met my protein goal every single day in the month of June and my tracking challenge, I also tracked every day in the month of June, good or bad. This week I really focused on, again, meeting my protein goal, staying in my calories and not having too many higher calorie days because I knew that I was going to miss one workout this week. And overall, my week went really well. I will say the only bad thing is that I started my cycle. As I mentioned in last week's weigh-in, I knew it was coming and we are in the full swing of it, which always makes me just feel really tired, bloated, and just kind of lethargic. That's really the only bad thing or not so great thing that was part of my week. So before I jump into this week's weigh-in, let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic, which is about being in control even when things around you are out of control. Dealing with change is hard as it is, but dealing with change that feels out of control is even harder. So I'm gonna share with you some tips from WW today, how to get back in the driver's seat and get back into control. Think about a situation that feels overwhelming or out of control control for you. Grab a piece of paper and a pen and write these down. Number one, list the things you can and can't control about the situation. Write down the things you don't have any influence over and then write down the things that you do have influence over. Number two is take a deep breath and redirect your attention to the things that you can control and the things that you do have influence over. There's no reason to get stressed out and upset about things that are out of your control because they're out of your control. So focus on the the things that you do have influence over. So here's a couple things to think about when it comes to things that you can control or influence versus things that you can't control or influence. First, let's talk about things that you can't control. Some of these, some examples of these are things that are happening around us, in the news, in our local economy, what other people are or aren't doing, the grocery store being out of your favorite zero point food. Now think about things that you can influence or control. You can limit how much news you watch to feel a little bit more in control. You can go to a second grocery store if your go-to store is out of your favorite zero point food. Also donate to a local charity or cause so that you feel 
like you're giving a little sense of control to someone else. And when it comes to things that you can control or influence, focus on what you can do in the present moment. Try something from your bucket list. Try something that makes you feel empowered. Maybe a first time yoga class or trying a new exercise program or even picking up a new food to try that falls within your calories or your points. It's important to embrace change, but it's also important to really focus on the things that we have control over and not stress out about the things that we don't have control over. I know this is easier said than done, but I'm hoping some of these tips from WW will help you embrace change a little bit better and feel a little bit more in control when things feel out of control. So now let's jump into this week's weigh-in, my first official weigh-in for the month of July. So with staying on track, tracking my food, meeting my protein goal, getting in my two days of jazzercise, I am down one 0.1 pounds, which means that I have officially hit 65 pounds down. I am so excited to actually finally hit the 65 pounds down. It's been a slow process, which I'm okay with because slow and steady wins the race and slow weight loss means the weight stays off. So I am so excited that I've officially hit that 65 pounds down. Now, of course I have a ways to go and I still have some weight that I would like to lose. I am considering changing things up a bit and I'll share that in a future video with you guys, but I'm thrilled. I'm so incredibly happy. Moving into this next week, I'm going to continue tracking, continue reaching my protein goal. I feel like I developed a really solid habit over the month of June that I want to carry into the month of July. And in my summer challenge group, we have an activity challenge for July, and I've given myself the goal of getting in 180 minutes of exercise every single week, which basically equates to about three hours of exercise. So that's my goal for July. That'll keep me moving my body and continuing to track and reach my protein goal. I should have a really good month of July. And just a reminder that Diesel does go in for surgery today. He is actually on his way there with Troy right now. So pray for us and wish us luck. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated on how the surgery goes as well as the recovery. This is one thing in my life that I can't control. I can't control the recovery process. I can't control how Diesel's going to do after the surgery. So as a dog mom, as his mom, I'm going to do my best to control what I can and that's taking care of my baby. So this is a good example of not letting the things in life that you can't control get to you. So again, down in the comments, let me know what your plans are for the 4th of July. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, as well as links and discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group. We'd love to have you over there as well. Happy Friday, happy 4th of July weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul.